purposes. We could, uh, under whose guidance, we could um, take this workshop successfully. So I would request Professor Indu Kumar to please come up and give overview of the program. Thank you, uh, Nidhi, and uh, I would like to welcome all the participants of the program uh, who are present over here uh, to this validatory session, and I congratulate my team for the successful uh, completion of this uh, five days training program. So uh, <clears throat> they all, uh, as a team, were constantly with me and supported me in the organization of this uh, workshop. So uh, as an overview, we already know what we have done during these five uh, days. Just to sum it up, we started with the uh, ICT initiatives, which are taking place at national uh, level. Uh, the, the session was important for you to understand what is the context in which we all are working. And NEP 2020, uh, 2020 is the force uh, behind whatever we are doing right now. And what has been done at the national level needs to be percolated at the state and UT's level also. So that is why uh, that session was there on ICT initiatives. Uh, apart from that, we also covered and the uh, session on various forms of digital resources, because this uh, workshop uh, training program was uh, on e-content development, digital resource development. So that is why it is important to know, for you to know what are the various forms of digital resources. Then uh, for the creation of any digital resource, we also need to understand how to prepare uh, an instructional design, uh, how to write a script for uh, a, a program and also how to develop storyboard. So uh, this session uh, uh, on the first day covered it all, instructional designing, storyboarding and script writing. So, uh, because without it, we cannot uh, really develop uh, meaningful digital content because we are not working for any random media. We are working in the area of educational media. So we need not, uh, we need to uh, know the nuances of writing scripts and all. Then a uh, last mile child is also our concern. So, uh, that is why a session on assistive technologies was also there so that we can develop accessible digital resources, which are suitable for uh, the uh, stakeholders who uh, are facing some uh, difficulties and who belong to this Divyang group of uh, children. So apart from uh, this, we also try to cover graphic resources, uh, animations, uh, audio resources, interactive digital contents. So, uh, and the tool which uh, you can use for developing these uh, forms of resources was, uh, were also demonstrated uh, by the team. Uh, so I, I think the hands-on and the demonstration might have been very fruitful for you to understand the various forms of um, digital resources and how they can uh, be uh, developed. So the tools which were demonstrated here were exemplar tool. It's not that you can't use other tools, but the idea was to give you a knack of it. How a, a open shot video editor, video editing tool works and how uh, you can use uh, it for uh, editing a video, developing a video, editing a video. So uh, uh, that was the purpose. Apart from that, what are the nuances of audio uh, resource development? How to write a script? What are the different formats of these forms of digital resources? That was also uh, discussed with you. And you also learned a tool H5P, which is very uh, uh, 
uh, important tool for developing interactive gamified uh, resources. Apart from uh, this, we also demonstrated some tools which you can use for the uh, development of animation resources. And I uh, think that uh, session might uh, also have been very important uh, for you and interesting for you because animation is something which we all uh, like. And if you can develop an animation with uh, a device like mobile, there is nothing like it. So uh, that was it. Apart from that, uh, the uh, to uh, deliver our lessons using these res these resources is also very important to know. That is why a session on ICT content pedagogy integration was capped, and a session on the evaluation of digital resources. As uh, a teacher, teacher educator, or any stakeholders of uh, holder of education, we uh, have to create resources, curate resources, house them on some repository. So until and unless the resources are uh, are uh, authentic, reliable, and valid, so there is no point uh, integrating them into your lesson or housing them into the repositories. So that is why a session on uh, evaluation of digital resources was also kept. And when we are working in the cyber spaces, the safety concerns are also very important. And you just um, had a session on uh, cyber safety and security. So apart from that, you also broke, you also broke yourself in break, breakout rooms. Uh, as uh, per your uh, subjects, uh, and you learned the subject specific tools and resources uh, yesterday. Uh, then uh, comes the uh, complete outcome of this, uh, having this uh, training program. So whatever you have learned from here, uh, it is also important to implement in the state and UTs that you belong to. So that is why today we gave you some time to develop your state action plans. And today is the day for you to present and you will be presenting your state action plans also, how you implement the learning that you have received from here. And don't think that some miracle can happen in five days if you are getting demo and having hands-on on a variety of tools, you will become proficient in five days. Training programs are uh, carved in this manner only. Uh, other, otherwise, the, uh, the, we can also keep training for months, but still you don't, uh, uh, you, you, you don't learn anything if you don't practice. So uh, the proficiency comes from practicing and not uh, from a long training program that you have. So you, uh, the, the, all these sessions are already placed on the page uh, uh, on NCRT website, which is meant for housing all the presentations and aligned resources so that you can go back, watch those sessions, refresh your knowledge and start working. So generally we get this demand to uh, that the, uh, the duration of the program was very short and you needed some more time to have hands on and practicing. So it's a never ending process. So it is not an end that also we need to understand. It is just an start. And everything depends upon how you practice what you have learned. And it applies to any learning that we go through. So these are uh, some of the thoughts that uh, I wanted to share with you. Uh, so going ahead, let us move on to the next part of uh, the today's valedictory. Uh, so I would like to thanks once again to all the participants for showing interest and uh, you know, for their active participation also. And I would like to extend my special thanks, although the formal thanks giving will be um, done at the end. But since I was not there uh, 
uh, during the first three days. So in my absence, uh, 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 Ms. Nithi and Ms. Priyakshi uh, have taken care of this uh, training program with utmost efficiency. So I would like to extend my thanks and congratulations to uh, them. And I uh, hope uh, they might also have learned from this experience and uh, they, uh, they will uh, again apply it for uh, the area of work they, that they um, are working towards. So thank you very much. Uh, over to the Nidhi. Thank you so much, ma'am, for encouraging all of us and for giving overview of the program. I hope uh, all the participants will keep working in this direction and will definitely develop new and better resources <coughs> and will contribute. So now we will uh, continue and uh, we are going to begin state action plan as already all of you know that uh, state action plans are required to be discussed what all your plans are after this workshop. So let's begin state-wise starting from Arunachal Pradesh. So I would like to request <coughs> state coordinator of Arunachal Pradesh to tell us the name of the representative who is going to give state action plan from their end. Uh, Summer, sir, you are muted. Please unmute yourself. Oh, sorry, sir. No, uh, you are allowed to unmute. Ah. Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, from our state, Ms. Kiran Tamuk from Diet Khopa, she, she is presenting our state action plan. So over to Kiran Tamuk, ma'am. Okay, sir. Before we begin with Arunachal Pradesh, I would like to inform all the states that uh, each state will get three minutes duration for presenting their plan. So please try to stick to the timings provided, three minutes for each state. Thank you. Over to Ms. Kiran. Kiran ma'am, please unmute yourself. If you want to um, present your presentation, kindly present your screen. Yes, yes. Uh, ma'am, uh, is it okay that I'll just read it out because I'm unable to uh, share the screen right now. No problem ma'am. Okay, ma'am. So, I am uh, Mudo You go out somewhere. Till the time Kidden Ma'am begins. I would uh, like to request all the participants to please switch on your video. We are having our last session. We don't know when again we will get the chance to interact with each other. So let's use this time as much as possible. Thank you. Okay, Kiran ma'am, let's start. Okay, so, uh, hello, am I audible, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so, good evening to everyone, uh, especially Nidhi, ma'am, that who had worked along with us uh, in this five days long training program. 
And yes, I'm very overwhelmed that uh, we got to learn so many new things, which I have uh, truly had never even listened about. <laughs> and I'm really uh, thankful to all the resource persons and my co-participants. <laughs> and um, so our state action plan will be like this. <laughs> <laughs> thing which we'll do is uh, win the targets. So under that, we'll have uh, development uh, for development of e-content. We have some strategies and activities uh, that uh, will engage trained resource persons, the persons we are uh, getting training right now. Uh, the time frame will be for two weeks. And uh, expected output of uh, this training will be e-content uh, development in online platform. Then uh, the parameters for this uh, will be like taking uh, in mind the family economic status of the children in the schools and school infrastructure and geographical background, etc. The next step will be the <clears throat> training of teacher at a different district level, block level and cluster level. So for this, uh, we'll strategize that uh, teachers to be trained by the state resource person in online platform or offline as well. The time frame will be of uh, two weeks. And uh, for this, um, the persons in involved will be the state resource persons, teacher coordinator. And for it, uh, the expected output will be like well-trained teachers at uh, district level, oh. block level and cluster level. So for this, for this, we'll appoint a coordinator at each level, that is district level and block level and cluster level. <clears throat> the third step will be sorry, to use e-content as a tool to process assessment and evaluation. For it, we'll have strategies like encourage on the users of e-content and the time uh, to be taken here is year round, like we'll be helping out the teachers as well as the uh, coordinators year round. And <clears throat> the teachers and students of different schools will be our like uh, the main uh, people with uh, to which we'll reach out. Sorry, ma'am. And next, uh, and next uh, is uh, to uh, use e-content for planning and designing teaching learning activities, assessment and evaluation, and tools all, as well as to process it. Then. Uh, the strategies will be uh, use of e-content for teaching, that is visual and audio aids. And the time taken will be year round, ex ex expected time. Like we'll guide them year around anytime. Uh, and Yes, the remarks for this will be a better visual teaching aid. And uh, for this, we'll use videos, virtual labs, GeoGebra, etc. Thank you, ma'am. This will be our state action plan for uh, year 2023-24. Thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, your dedication is uh, clearly visible that uh, along with the so much other tasks you are performing this duty also very nicely. Thank you so much, ma'am. My son is disturbing a lot here. Sorry. No problem. Thank you. Thank you for making presentation. So after Arunachal Pradesh, now I would like to invite any representative from the state of Assam to present their state action plan. So who is the Before representative that? from Assam? Before that, I want to thank Kiran ma'am from my side. 
from the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ma Thank you, sir. And sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> no problem, ma'am. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you, okay, sir. Then. Carry on, please. All right. Thank you. So uh, I would like to invite Dr. Raj Kiran Dole, sir, for presenting the state action plan of Assam. Over to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening to all. Uh, on behalf of Team Assam, I would like to present our action plan. Uh, for this, I would like to share my screen. Can you see my screen, ma'am? Yes, sir. Is my screen visible? Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. So I would like to profoundly thank uh, our state coordinator, uh, Ms. Manossi, Gohai Madam, as well as all the team members of SRG Assam for giving me the opportunity to present before you our action plan. So our action plan is, uh, looks like this, as you can see, see uh, on the screen, that uh, first of all, uh, our first initi initiative would be uh, to, uh, to meet amongst our, our SRG members for mutual sharing and preparation. And for this, uh, we would also invite our previous year's uh, SRG members to guide us one-to-one. Uh, one one. And this activity will be carried out, carried out during, uh, within mid of March, 2023. Then second activity would be uh, training and sharing with the faculty members of own institutions, that is diets and schools from where we have come. Uh, and for these faculty, teachers, coll teacher colleagues, also teacher trainees, students may also be involved uh, for this purpose. Then uh, B, 2B is uh, development of e-content at individual level. So our entire uh, strategy involves individual initiatives, uh, SRG initiatives, as well as state level initiatives. So uh, we will be developing uh, e-contents uh, at our level. So SRG members will be, each, each one of our SRG members will be developing this and this will be done within uh, March, 2023. Then the third activity would be um, a meeting with the SCRT. Uh, the ICT team of SCRT is very much efficient uh, uh, in this purpose. So presentation and discussion on the proposed action plan uh, for our timely and effective implementation of strategies would be carried out. And this will be done within first week of April, 2023. And then uh, the next uh, activity is the online course on OER. We would be requesting all our teachers and the diet faculty members in our state to uh, undergo the course of uh, course on OER that is given by Commonwealth of Learning, as we have done here. So that activity will be uh, started from 20 April 2023 onwards. And then fifth activity would be the orientation <clears throat> and the capacity building. Uh, on e-content development at district level as well as uh, block level. And this will be carried out in a phased manner because we have so many districts and blocks. So in this process, the diet faculty members and school teachers will be the participant. And this activity will be carried out uh, in three months, uh, that is from May 2023 to July 2023. Then uh, sixth activity is the collection of e-contents from the districts and evaluation and submission of uh, those e-contents to the SCRT. And this activity will be carried out within to, uh, August 2023. The next activity would be the review of those collected e-contents and also evaluation. And uh, this would be done by the S SRG members uh, involving the uh, subject experts. And then uh, this activity will be completed within uh, September 2023. The next activity would be to uh, adaptation and uh, curation of e-contents those have been collected. Um, in this process, the SRG members will be involved. and. This activity would be completed within October 2023. Then uploading of selected e-contents in Dixa portal would be carried out by SRG members in collaboration with SCRT. And then uh, this activity will be completed uh, within November 2023. Then we, uh, although we have already a mechanism of uh, giving state level awards for best ICT e-contents, <clears throat> but we are uh, proposing to uh, initiate this at the district level. And uh, in this process, SRG members as well as the SCRT members would be involved. And this activity would be completed within uh, December 2023. Uh, the next activity would be the working with SCF on integration of I ICT in lesson. So the, uh, the work of SCF is going on in full thing in the state as well as at the, the national level. So we'd, as the SRG members, we try our best to contribute our learnings into, into integration of ICT into the lessons of the uh, school curriculum. 
and this timeline would be fixed by SCRT. Then the last activity uh, to be taken is the instructions or advisories to the schools or institutions for accumulation of the e-contents developed by the teachers at the district level. So we will uh, create a district level repository for collection of the collected e-contents and, and for future use. So uh, this activity, uh, the timeline for this activity would be fixed by SCRT itself. So this is all from the team Assam. Thank you so much for patient hearing. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us a comprehensive detail on the action plan that you have prepared for your state. And I hope that you're able to implement this entire plan in your state for the betterment of the teachers as well as the students. Thank you once again for this wonderful presentation. Okay, ma'am. Before moving on to Manipur's presentation, I would like to here we have with us uh, Professor Marinda Behar. Uh, sir is um, busy in the other work, but still Sir has managed to join this meeting. So I would like to request Professor Marinda Behar, Joint Director CIT and CRT, to, gui to guide all of us in the direction of using our potential in the best possible way to make uh, education. Hello, Nidhi, give me five minutes more. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, we can sir. have another presentation by then. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we can continue with our state action plan presentations. And I would like to request a representative from Manipur to please come forward and tell us who is going to represent a state action plan from their end. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Masro Kumar Singh, uh, TED coordinator, ma'am. Uh, uh, for the state of Manipur, uh, Madam Minakshi Sanambam, lecturer of Thanks uh, Sampur, will be presenting the uh, action plan. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, I would like to invite Minakshi, ma'am. Uh, I know earlier also she had given a very nicely she had presented a summary of the presentations. So we expect the same for the state action plan as well. Welcome, ma'am, and over to you, Minakshi, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good, ma Good evening to everyone. I, uh, shall I say, I'm sharing my screen. Sure, ma'am. Recording in progress. 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 That's it's coming. You can start off. Uh, uh, good, good evening, and uh, for the proposal of action plan for, for this time from Team uh, Manipur. Uh, first of all, this uh, proposed action plan for e content creation uh, uh, it's a strengthening of uh, state resource group. Uh, there we are going to uh, form district resource group uh, with uh, around ten district district uh, district resource group for each district, district. Then capacity building of uh, district uh, resource group. Then training of teachers and teacher education educators. Uh, phase wise, we're going to train the uh, district training, uh, district uh, resource me, teachers on e content for Excuse teachers and teacher gauges. Sorry to interrupt you. Actually, the presentation is uh, stuck on uh, second slide. Mm -hmm. I'll start again, ma'am. Okay. This one? Yeah. Yeah. 
Then and the third plan is uh, e-content creation, uh, uh, e-content creation developed by concerned teachers and teacher educators. We are going to- uh, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, ma'am, but uh, we are still stuck on slide two. Mm -hmm. However, I can see that you're explaining slide four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. Ma'am, have you uh, scrolled down to slide four or is it uh, stuck at two only at your end as well? Can kindly check that. This is the last. Actually, e -content, well, after uh, uh, after after uh, we make. It's fine, yeah, ma'am. It's coming. It's fine, ma'am. Well, this is the uh, after e content creation, after uh, e content developed by concerned teachers and educators, we are going to. Uh, Something's wrong with my. You can click on the scroll button on the side so that uh, you can move it down and then click on that particular slide just like you did right now. You clicked on the first slide. Yes, you can. Yes, you can uh, click on that arrow which is pointing downwards. Yes, yes, yes. So moving. Um, okay, anyway, okay. Uh, after this e, e, e content creation, ma'am, uh, uh, we're going to select the, uh, we're going to select the, uh, as you're trying to pull that uh, button uh, downwards, the other way is you can see in the same column at the end. Yes, yes. you could. Okay. So after the selection, uh, then after uh, 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 after they develop the teachers, educator, after they develop uh, in their respective fields, in their respective subjects, after they develop, we're going to select the e-content for developing set e-content for analyzing of school's textbook to be, uh, which is to be included in the uh, Dixar platform. Thank you, ma'am. This is this all. Thank you so much for your uh, presentation and keeping it to the point and within the time limit. And I hope you're able to implement your plan in your uh, respective state. And I wish you all the best for that. Thank you once again, Vinakshi, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Madam Minakshi. Now I would like to invite representative of Meghalaya. Uh, I would like to invite first of all state coordinator of Meghalaya to inform us who will be the representative from their state. Good evening, ma'am. Am I audible? Uh, sir, the volume is uh, very low. Please a bit uh, speak a bit louder. Okay. Am I audible now? Still, uh, if it is possible, a bit louder. Am I audible now, ma'am? So you are audible, but it will be hard to hear for uh, most of us, I think so. Okay. So I'll try my best to be loud, ma'am. Okay, sir. Are you going to present the presentation? Yes, yes, ma'am. I'll be presenting. Okay, sir. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Dawan and I'm the state coordinator of Meghalaya. I thank the central team from CIEP for conducting this uh, productive uh, training program, five-day training program, and we have learned a lot. I hope everyone also has enjoyed every session. And so our team from Meghalaya has come up with uh, ideas and contributed with uh, the objectives and also the action plans. So going to point number one, uh, we are covering 
content creation right from the year 2020 and still in progress. Online courses for professional development of inline content teachers, principals, volunteers, supplementary materials for students, I keep support for. Can you please check your audio? Maybe it's uh, at the uh, not uh, at the highest. You can check your computer audio because uh, the, we can hardly hear you. If it is on the full. Hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Sir, it is still the same. I think the bottom jo bar hoga na aapke device ka, uske upar ek icon banaoga audio ka. Uspe click karke dekhiye ki aapka audio full hai kya. बॉटम में कंप्यूटर के आपके बॉटम में एक बार होगा उस पे आइकन्स होंगे जहां एक ऑडियो आइकन होगा और आप या हेडफोन भी यूज करके देख लें अगर इफ यू आर कैरिंग देम बताना तुम कैसे करना है सो लेट डॉक्टर मोनिका गाइड यू हाउ टू डू इट सर Hello, ma'am. <coughs> yeah, is it uh, uh, right now? Sir, uh, where the mute or the unmute button is there, a small arrow is visible to you. Uh, please okay, click on that small arrow. Yeah, yeah. And I've... go to audio settings. Um, I've done that. Once you uh... go to audio settings, there is input level. You have to make it full. Yeah, I've done that, ma'am. Is it is it okay now? So is near the mute button, there is a small arrow. You have to click now on the okay, arrow. Madam. We are hearing go him. to audio settings and in the audio settings, yeah, yeah, you I, have I've, input I've, level. I have input done that. I have done that. Be high. I have done now that. Now it is audible. Now it is audible. You are at the full volume. It is audible now. Please uh -huh, give a demo. I am sharing. Uh, you want to speak something once a, once so that we can check? Dr. Monica. Dr. Is it Monica? audible now? Is it, it clear? Is audible. It is audible. It is audible. Now. Follow the same. Okay. Screen share. Hatana. Uh, is it fine now? Hello. Yes. Yes. Is it now, fine now? now you are. It is okay. much better now. We are able to hear okay. yourself clearly. Okay. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Thank you. Please carry okay. on. Okay. Yeah. So point number one, these are the objectives from the state of Meghalaya. So point number one is con covering content creation, online courses for professional development of teachers, principals, volunteers, supplementary materials for students, ICT support for NEP 2020 rollout. Point number two is to assure the quality of the material and production when it comes to creation of e-content using virtual labs, uh, animations, etc. Number three is to implement learning activities that evoke reactions from students to keep them interested in what they are learning. So SRG Team Meghalaya has come out with these uh, action plans. So plan number one, as an individual contribution, we uh, have decided to familiarize with e-content creation tools and then start creating, developing e uh, script, storyboard, infographics, interactive video, animation, and evaluate e-content. And then based on this, we will be reviewing every week of, about the progress on content creation. And as SRG, SRG mem members, we are planning to conduct workshops, training to other teachers in the state. And also we, the SRG team members will create video tutorials on the different tools available to create e-content in local languages and meeting for SRG to decide on our future plans. Uh, in collaboration with the state, we have decided to identify more subject experts on content creation, evaluation, 
according to the parameters that you that have been there in the NCRT website. So diets will be the key players for e-content development through faculty and student teachers, courses, etc. We'll be deputing more resource persons in every district to maintain and track progress reports of learners. And also we are still continuing with our last year's action, action plan. And we have 51 energize, energized textbooks and we're still uh, making e-content for those. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir, for, a, for such a comprehensive presentation on the state action plan of your state of uh, Meghalaya. And uh, I hope that all your action plans are successfully implemented in your state. Thank you once again for your presentation, sir. We have Thank to you, just check for a few minutes if Behraji is available now uh, before inviting the other uh, presentation. Sure, ma'am. Uh, so we so, are checking his availability. Just wait for a few minutes. By then you can uh, tell who is the state who is going to present, uh, which is the state going to present next so that they get ready. Next is Mizoram. Okay. So, and then would... Mizoram ke baad? Ma'am Nagaland. Okay. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, can we and start? Ma'am, we are just uh, waiting for source availability. Accordingly, uh, he, he is available. He is available. So I welcome uh, Professor Amrind Behera on behalf of the entire team and all the participants of this workshop, though he is traveling, he's at the airport right now, but he could find time to get the connectivity and be connected with us. So he's there with us. So not, uh, not wasting much time, I would like to invite him uh, for giving a way forward to all the participants. So um, yeah, Professor Behra, please. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, very good afternoon and uh, namaskar to all of you. Uh, first of all, I must congratulate all the participants for uh, actively participating in the five days uh, online training on e-content development. And uh, I hope that this training will equip all the stakeholders to develop digital content uh, which is of good quality and uh, disseminate it through different means, including Prime Minister C. Vidya, DTS TV channels, even radio channels, and Diksha and any other platform of the states and duties they have uh, their own. And also we had a couple of other agenda while planning this program because we thought that this training should enable all of us to have uh, regional language content developed for the uh, state, like in Mizoram, case of Mizoram, maybe Mizo and English content could be done, or any other subgroups who speak different languages, those contents could be developed. Similarly, in case of Meghalaya, maybe Khasi, Garo, Jantia, uh, different variety of contents in different languages could be developed by the core team. And uh, similarly, also for other states, uh, who could develop regional local content in regional local languages. So uh, that is the main key. And another thing we had in mind is uh, that the e-content development and its mapping on energized textbooks are very key because we find that many energized textbooks are uh, not having any content and kept blank by the uh, stakeholders. So, so which is not advisable because children, students and teachers they will have uh, no content in the book chapter. Uh, so therefore, this training will help all the state stakeholders 
all the ten different uh, state participants who are participating here to develop digital contents in uh, their languages. And another concern is we are going to have two hundred TV channels in next couple of months time. So which will take a major share of content and the states may. Get a large number of TV channels, uh, ranging from seven, eight channels to two channel minimum. So in that case, all the states, all the states should be uh, uh, geared up. They should gear up the mechanism and uh, start developing contents in regional languages because these channels broadly will carry regional language content because English, Hindi, Urdu, and the other major languages. also uh, we have a large number of content but uh, many languages we don't have any content so therefore uh, i feel that uh, this should help us uh, to develop a large number of content which is in different regional languages and also this training not only will help to develop content because we may have some other partners who may contribute content like when ncert started telecast we had a rotary as a partner they contributed 2000 content For free. So similarly, you may have your own partner who will be providing content for free to telecast. So in that case, the state team needs to vet this content, validate this content, and uh, put it for the telecast uh, and uh, put it on Dixa or any other platform you have. And we have also uh, created Vidya Samiksha Kendra at NCERT, and it is also expected that all the states would create their own version of Vidya Samiksha Kendra. so that uh, the content development process is expedited and uh, also these vidya samiksha kendra show us that what are the huge cases of this content so how many people are using this content which uh, students are using with what impact so that will help us and uh, also we request the, the states they should also develop content for uh, their regional languages uh, and uh, put it on diksha uh, or any other platform so that stakeholders can use and we can have analytics based on the analytics we can design the content as well so my best wishes to all of you and thanks for uh, joining and sharing your five valuable days for this uh, training and i hope it will equip all of us to develop quality digital content for its dissemination as well thank you over to professor indu kumar thanks to uh, the whole team of ncert for putting their efforts together and uh, taking this uh, effort forward uh, and thank thanks you. to all of you thank you thank namaskar you. thank you professor behra for finding time and coming online to guide us thank you very much so uh, uh, priyakshi we can now go ahead with the next presentation all right ma'am now i would uh, request representative from mizoram to please uh, start with the presentation uh hello uh first let me share a screen okay ma'am share it hello Uh, is it visible not yet ma'am not yet okay just a minute just a moment please okay ma'am hello ma'am good morning mm 
Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the plan that we made. Uh, I have to apologize that we cannot make the state. Uh, <laughs> Am I you there? You are not audible. Miss Larson Pui. Am I you here? Uh, I think uh, ma'am has got disconnected. We'll wait for her to rejoin. Uh, since um, representative from Mizoram is taking a bit time, I think we can continue with Nagaland. And as soon as uh, Ms. Lal Singh Poi rejoins after Nagaland, we will continue with Mizoram. Is it fine? Is the representative of uh, Nagaland available here? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Mr. Daniel Thong. Are you going to present? Thank you for this opportunity. Pardon, we sir. We won't take much time. We won't take we won't take much time, but just to let you. What do you want from our end? Uh, okay, as uh, Mr. Daniel has uh, informed all of us that there is some technical issue, but I can see that Ms. Lal Sangpui from Mizoram is back. Ma'am, are you here? <coughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, so can you connect now? Can you connect your presentation? Yes. Please continue, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tu hai tu kan buat bang. Hai satu kan hasan jin hai tu. Sorry ma'am just a few minutes. Ya stop mero. Alright, ma'am. Okay, I'll just read it out. Uh, action plan individual. Uh, this is for school teachers. The objectives is gain knowledge about ICT application software and its uses. And this is for session uh, one. And the outcomes will be know the importance and familiar with user interface of its software application. And number two is development of skills upon the use of ICT application. This is for uh, two plus two, four sessions. And the outcomes will be able to create different materials for the purpose of teaching in schools. And for number three, utilize ICT applications in teaching professions. And this is session um, for two session. Uh, and the outcomes will be able to utilize it in teaching. And action plan for uh, SRG members, use of ICT in education. This is also for school teachers. The objectives is review and enhance the capacity there is strategies, activities, and this is for two sessions and uh, materials is here. The outcomes will be enhance the, the capacities to impart creative knowledge to teachers. And next one is import knowledge to school teachers through training programs. The strategies will be organized as per individual action plan. Uh, this, is, this session is for uh, as per individual plan and the resources or materials is as per plan and the outcomes will be as per individual plan. And the next one is discussion and the strategies under strategies activities, there is review the progress and make improvements where needed. This, this one is for two sessions and the resources materials will be computers, smartphones, stationaries if, if needed. And the outcomes will be make improvement where it was needed. Uh, that is the plan that uh, Mizoram uh, group made it. And that is all we can do it. So thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the uh, Training what your state is going to do. Now I would like to request as uh, I would like to request representative from Lakshadweep. <coughs> First of all, uh, I would like to ask state coordinator of Lakshadweep, Mr. Ayu, to inform us who is going to represent state action plan. Yes, ma'am, my, myself. Okay, sir, please continue. Okay. Ma'am, can you see? Hello? Yes, sir. Can you see my presentation? PPT? Yes, sir, we can. We can. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. And uh, Okay, respected. Post Director Professor A.P. Behra, sir. Respected Program Coordinator Professor Indu, ma'am. Ms. Nidhi Adlaga, Ms. Priyakshi, Dr. Manika, ma'am, and other faculty members of CIT, teachers, 
other resource persons comes from various states of the country here i am very much happy because e content development is very essential as far as a teacher is concerned suppose if we imagine or discuss or think about the future and present learning environment it is very difficult and maybe impossible that is not sustained without the support of information and communication technology and if school for a digitalization and management of the content so i am very much happy and my team from lakshadweep thankful to the team cit and crt for giving me the opportunity to participate in this auspicious program and they have been taken very much good effort and providing resources to promote an implementation of ICT in the teaching learning process our prime aim our prime aim is to prepare more interactive and appropriate e content as per the requirement of the subject based on the training imparted to us we will making more interactive interesting and qualitative e content see the first second phase of the orientation program which is organized by the cit collaboration with nct ncrt that was in 7th february to 11th february 2022 after that we had organized a training to the teachers of various island under the department of education in collaboration with the diet faculties and this program is we are standing in the last stage of this program lakshadweep administration nominated 20 state resource persons from lakshadweep island for attending online workshop on e kanna development actually we are facing the major problem is bad network assessment so based on that the assignment and other activities you have provided during the workshop but that has not been completed within the stipulated time due to the bad network so we are we face the difficulty for developing online based e content and it assess for example h5p we are giving more priority to the offline tools for developing e content let me check my objectives so we have to generate e content in all subject at the primary secondary and senior second level in lakshadweep hello hello yes sir you are audible audible thank you and second objective is to equip the teachers an expert by providing resources in e content creation third one is make available the e content to the teachers and students through various delivery modes for the formal and non formal education for supplementing and complementing the process of teaching and learning at all levels when we come to the methodology of the process we are having presently 54 trained state resource persons available by using these assurances to give training on e content to the teachers working in the various island from the beginning of the next academic year 2023 to 24 so for this we need a module and we will be preparing the module by selecting assurances members with the help of the diet team soon after the completion of the training excuse me sir yes sorry to interrupt you but as in the beginning i informed that each state yes. will get 3 minutes to okay, okay. present their plan so please try to 
okay. completed as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. The, some tools will be used. That is audio, video, infographics, animations, some other tools I have mentioned here. And the name of the pro, we are conducting the program in different phases. We are having three BRC, Block Resource Center, at the phase one, phase two, phase three. Different islands are there. Target groups are PST, TGT, and PGT. And we will complete soon after uh, June, after the June. And here, this slide depicts that island-wise class distribution for developing Ekanda. There are 10 islands are there, and we are uh, dealing uh, CRT, pat, uh, CRT syllabus and NCRT syllabus. So these, these two syllabus, we are dealing in the island, and we will distribute syllabus to each island. And activities to be taken care is, first January, we will submit the report of training and action plan to the director and module will be preparation, submission of module for uh, approval, imparting training to teachers of class 1 to 12 e-content development. E-content development based on the table I have mentioned in the table. Submission of preparation of e-content material to the director that will be a program coordinator of concerned I. Consolidation and preparation. and distribution of consolidated e-content to all islands. First phase of assessment of e-content after the implementation, that will be the 15th December 2023. Second phase uh, assessment, that will be 15th March. Modification of e-development e-content as per the findings, first and second phase assessment, 10th April. 30th April, developing of state depository. So I don't wish to prolong my talk. I am expecting that after the completion of this training, course of course on e-content development, its implementation at various island, the educational assessment methodology and quality of the Lakshadi islands will be improved. This, thus the students will get a benefit and their educational outlook and its implementation will be improved to a high level. Thank you so much. So Thank, you. Thank you so much, my, sir. Uh, my, my humble request is that uh, here we are facing internet facility. So that if you conduct the, this kind of training or offline mode, we will we shall be grateful if you look the matter positively. Thank you so much. Uh, sure, sir. We hope that next time we will definitely conduct this workshop in the offline mode. Thank you. Now, uh, okay. I would like to thank Mr. Ayu for uh, presenting state action plan. <coughs> now, uh, before moving forward to the next state i would uh, i would like to announce that there is a feedback form given in the chat box you can see that there is a link provided for feedback please fill that form so that we also <coughs> get to know that what changes are required thank you hello can nagaland come in now yes sir so yeah. our uh, next state uh, for presenting the state action plan is Nagaland and I would like to know the representative from Nagaland who will be presenting the okay, state action plan. Uh, yeah. Basically, so, we have uh, discussed in a chat room and then once they come back, we'll be having an assessment to see uh, how well they can blend with the old team. And the first right. job assignment would be to start with uh, cyber safety. So they are going to be ambassadors for cyber security. Basically, we were organizing this at the school level and even at the, at the diet at the colleges and school levels, so which, which is really very important. And uh, team will be re uh, they'll be reconstituted and then they'll work on improvement of the e-content in the diksha. And as and other aspects of uh, working out in the subject related activities will be there, mostly for video editing and uh, production of video and related areas. And we would also reach out to the Diksha team here and the CIET faculty members to come and help us also, as and when we conduct a state level orientation workshop for, for our state. Just to make it, uh, that is a brief presentation. The 
detailed workout will be as per the proposal which our government will accept or as a proposal which we will be sending out from here, from our department. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us a brief overview of your state action plan. Now I would uh, request representative of Sikkim to come forward to give state action plan. Hello, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are you going to present? Yes, ma'am. Please proceed with it. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. So is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so I'm Kabiri Sharma. I am representing Sikkim and uh, Sikkim's action plan. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to uh, talk about the need of e-content. Uh, we have already studied why we are doing this uh, e-content uh, because it is to prepare our students for uh, like keeping them future, make, making them future ready. Not only that, it is the need of the hour. It is uh, for us also as a teacher also, I feel uh, it is very much needed that we should upgrade as somebody has, has been telling yesterday, day before yesterday, it is time for us to sharpen our tool. So it is need of the hour besides it's uh, various merits and advantages e-content has. No need to mention because we have already done that. So uh, e-content is the need of the R. And uh, having said that, as an individual, what we can do as my contribution and as a group also we have discussed, uh, as an individual, uh, we would surely implement some of the e-content uh, softwares and apps that we have discussed and we have uh, we had hands-on also like uh, Canva. As you can see, my entire presentation is on Canva. We are surely going to use Lumi, uh, VUE, WordWall, Stop Motion. Along with this, uh, here I would like to uh, mention the needs, catering to the varied needs of the learners, specifically the CWS in children, uh, where the use of technology should not be uh, you know, the, it should not be a hindrance for them. So it should be friendly to them uh, also. So apps like Audacity, One Stop, and From Text to Speech, I think are very useful. And we as a state, uh, Sikkim, would like to, uh, we would like to incorporate these also in our teaching and learning process where uh, various needs, like uh, if somebody has uh, uh, hear, uh, hearing impairment or speech impairment, these kind of uh, uh, impairments uh, should also not be affected due to uh, e-content and e-teaching learning processes. Making use of O-Labs, virtual labs, surely will be our action plan. And also here, I would like to say, we will definitely try to make use of already available resources like Nishta, Diksha, e Parchala, which we, till now, uh, we also don't know uh, various aspects of these uh, useful resources. Though we had idea of these things are there, but uh, still we are not able to use it to the fullest. So from this um, training, we got to uh, see many things like of uh, OLAPs, where, which are available in Diksha and various other like uh, morning itself, we have studied about QR codes and uh, energized textbooks, though we knew it, but somewhere we were not able to make use of it. So we are, as a group, we will definitely explore more on this. Then as a resource person, uh, we have a group of 20 people. What we have decided we will do is, first of all, we would share this wonderful, insightful experience which we had. 
for better teaching learning process, we would arrange for a meeting, be it in person or online, because we have learned wonderfully how it could be conducted. Seeing the example of CIET and CRT, we will definitely do that. Uh, we will coordinate with our block here. I would like to say we are uh, with our uh, um, districts and at the higher level, we will have talk with them and we, will, we would like to share whatever we have learned uh, though not enough, but still, whatever in five days we could learn, we would like to share that. After all, knowledge shared is knowledge gained. And uh, as an e-content eva uh, e evaluator at the national level, uh, following the prescribed guidelines, as yesterday explained by Ma'am Indu, uh, how we can use make use of e-content evaluation tool if uh, any of us be an e evaluation uh, e-content evaluator, certain parameters we have to take care of, like uh, factual accuracy, legal use, technical glitches, it should be free from technical glitches, constitutional and statutory appropriateness, etc. If all these four uh, evaluation uh, parameters are taken care of, then we can go ahead to the fifth one, which we learned that uh, it was about the uh, learning outcomes, whether it has the e-content is meeting that expectation or not. Then talking about the parameters which are um, in detail given in the uh, CIED website and of course assessment tools for various assessment, how you are going to uh, evaluate that. And that is how my presentation ends here. But uh, having said that, we uh, as a state, I would also like to stay, is, uh, stay is, is, what I would like to say here is we have a huge problem like uh, uh, some of the schools, most of the schools, I think we have ICT labs, but unfortunately we don't have internet. So we may not be able to make use of everything that has been discussed, but at our level best, we will try. And uh, those uh, basic like uh, VUE and simple presentation like the one which I have done could be done at the school level to make our teaching learning even more fr fruitful. And uh, we as a state, Sikkim would like to thank all of you for your uh, knowledgeable, uh, you know, the uh, experience we have gained and whatever you have given us as a team. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Your presentation was very well uh, prepared and uh, it was uh, clearly visible that, yes, you have learned a lot from this workshop. So that was really impressive. The way you have made use of Canva, that's really nice. And uh, the points which you have mentioned, they are also very nicely stated and mentioned. So thank you so much for sharing your state action plan. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I would like to have Tripura. So, uh, any uh, a representative from Tripura, Tripura is requested to present their state action plan now. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. We four people sit together from Tripura, sure, and uh, we are in festive mood, ma'am. <laughs> Great, sir. So, let me get opportunity to uh, share our. Uh, action plan. So it is very brief, ma'am. Uh, let me share this. Uh, sh share the screen. Is it shared? No. So the screen is shared. Okay, okay ma'am. Yes, yes. The May start. Uh, action plan for state Tripura. And uh, after completion of this training. We start a resource group. Uh, we uh, the state resource group. Together, our initial plan is we sit uh, five days uh, in SCRT because uh, we are spreading all over the state. So we sit together and uh, we revise ourselves, enrich ourselves because uh, practice is needed. No, so we thought uh, a little bit. We uh, capacity, our capacity, we build again once again. We meet together, and after that, we shall prepare a plan means uh, for the district level training program. Uh, from each district, we are uh, we will take 25 uh, district level key resource person. Uh, those who are having laptops and uh, having a little bit computer knowledge, we will screen them. And uh, the timeline is January 2023, madam. Within this district level uh, resource group will be prepared. Then 
the district level KRPs will organize the training program in block level. And uh, our SRG group will monitor the training program and uh, the hands-on experience will be there. And uh, the target is May 2023, madam. Around the Vedan election. We have actually, uh, our general assembly election is coming up. So there is a little bit disruption will be there, madam. So targeted will be there up to May. We are going to complete that. And uh, uh, we, people decided that we, are prepare a, uh, we will prepare a content bank. Content bank uh, because district level re uh, resource needed, then we will supply. So SRG people will prepare uh, we are, uh, in local language, ma'am, as well as English. English and local language, we are prepared. E-content bank will be prepared. Next. So this is the hierarchy of the training, ma'am. Uh, we have eight districts. So 25 KRPs will be trained in West, South, Shipaijala, Kwai, Gomoti, Unakoti, and North District of Tripura. And uh, altogether, we have 58 blocks. So here, uh, uh, the number of blocks are shown here. So from each block, the KRPs will be trained. And uh, if necessary, madam, we will provide the electronic gadgets, means uh, laptop uh, from our state level or district level. In, uh, in CRC, BRC, the training will be held. And most of the TEIs, means diet and uh, BEAT college, IASC, will arrange the state level and district level training programs. Next, the institutional level action plan. In cooperation with the e-content, shall be done in B.Ed. and D.L.Ed. curriculum. We thought that uh, we have a energetic young uh, trainees. So already we are having uh, the TLM workshop, teaching learning materials, they are having the issue taught. So e-content will be developed and uh, that will be practiced in our young pre-service trainees. So there is no, uh, nothing is not that is, uh, it is compulsory for the curriculum. In addition to that, we will incorporate this in our DL and BA trainees so that they are the future teachers. They will spread all over the state later on. If needed, workshop of e-content shall be organized in trainee teachers. Uh, please move, please move next, next. Uh, trainee teachers in different TEIs. Uh, it means we have, uh, short time training program ma'am we will uh, e content will be added with this and the timeline is march 2023 in between because in march we are also spending a lot of fund so we are having a lot of training program in the year ending so we will add that ma'am program on e content will also be organized in the schedule uh, uh, what, what? yes capacity building workshop conducted by teis under samagra shiksha and this is also within March 2023. All the faculties of different TEIs will be oriented on e-content and uh, with on experience. Timeline last week of December 2022. Means uh, within, this, within this year. Uh, within this year, all the faculties of TEIs, because very selective people are coming here. So other, other uh, faculties of, uh, will be trained, will be oriented. And uh, these are most of them are colleagues. So we can discuss, we can share our experience within a few days and it will be completed because they will also working as a district level uh, monitoring uh, committee, madam. E-content shall also be used in adapted schools. E-content shall be used in adapted schools by TEIs and monitoring throughout the year. It is, uh, it is important, ma'am, important to mention here, in our diet, we have some adapted school. And CRD also provided this uh, this guideline that some of the schools adapted throughout the whole year. We are uh, looking uh, the teaching learning of the school, so we thought uh, this will be oriented adapted schools because uh, their result also uh, we are also looking after throughout the whole year. So special focus on the adapted school, ma'am, will be added. As as madam uh, instructed us, the individual level plan. 
so we have made because we are the individual we are group and individual we as a individual person we plan a small uh, small, small uh, plan we made first of all we shall submit uh, the assignment as per the schedule time means uh, the four assignment is given ma'am so it is our plan to submit in the group in the link whatever you have given practice and Sir, uh, sorry to interrupt but uh, the time limit of 3 minutes has oh, okay, already exceeded i would like you to uh, finish yes, the yes this is the last year life said ma'am that's right please carry on yes sir. <laughs> so practice and explore the technology discuss uh, in uh, sharing experience with the co uh, participants and colleagues it is already there develop at least 12 e content using five different foss and uh, participate in the workshop at SCRT to be scheduled at the end of the December because we have already discussed and act as resource person at district level and block level trainees. Means SRG, the role of SRGs. Okay. So this is the final stage, ma'am. All the textbooks shall be reviewed to contact the e-content e e and shall take initiative to incorporate the books of 202324 academic sessions. Means uh, that is our uh, uh, proper measures to be taken to include appropriate e-content in SCF. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you, given the time. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, taking up all the stakeholders in your state action plan. And I wish you all the best for implementing the same in your state. And it was a wonderful presentation, sir. Great job. And last but not the least, I would like to invite a representative of Kerala, for sharing their state action plan. <laughs> May I know who will be presenting the state action plan from Kerala? Uh, state coordinator of Kerala, May Deputy. Hello, hello, uh, am I audible? Yes, uh, Dhanyaji, you are uh, okay. audible. Are you the yeah. representative from Kerala? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm All from right. Kerala. Okay, All right. Um, I'm just trying to share the screen. Okay, is it visible? It isn't. Is it visible? No, ma'am. Then, Aji, oh. I will share the screen. Okay, that's better. Okay, okay. So, please do this. Sir, please do that. Okay. So, uh, we had uh, discussed the plan, action plan for e content development in detail in our chat room. And then uh, we have derived a nine point plan for that. This is the nine point plan for that. So here we can see uh, the area, three areas are there e content development, teacher training, and also evaluation of e content. So in detail, next, next one, that is the point 1.1, 1. 1, that is individual level for e-content development, as we can explore different sorts of e-content, just like uh, uh, um, uh, infographics, and also interactive assessment tools, audio, video uh, resources, etc. And we will explore that individually and we'll learn more about that. And that will be subject specific. And then we can have the group level. Next, next one, please. Okay, so in group level, that is 1.2, 1.2, that is uh, developing multiple e resources based on the needs of students. That will be as a group, we will develop uh, a pool of resources, maybe in district level, by taking into consideration of individual and group discussion, uh, that is the classroom implication, just like individual and group discussion in classroom and for inclusive classrooms and for gift of students. And based on the learning styles of students and by and mainly we are focusing on assessment and learning tools for all subjects so in the state level as we go like this we in the state level we will have a pool of resource 
for assessment and learning that will be an ever growing or evolving um, pool of resources. Okay. So the second area that is teacher training. For this, as individuals, we can uh, have school level training for teachers and it will be a subject specific. We will train them for selecting open resource tools and also content creation and classroom implication of those tools and also the resources and again the assessment of that. And in district level, we can have the uh, a pool of teachers who will be trained enough for this content making and then we can spread that into block level and also in school level that will, that also will develop and then the state level uh, our suggestion is that there will be a panel of teachers in state level who will assess the new developments in the area of uh, digital tools and digital content they will research on that and they will timely revise the state policy for us and will uh, suggest the need for the e-content and the third area the last area is the next one so okay this one uh, that is the assessment though, sorry the evaluation of e-content uh, as individual level we can um, evaluate the e-content in schools and also certain for our own subjects mainly we have uh, most of our uh, persons are from uh, english hindi etc and also we had uh, experts from chemistry and also maths, et cetera. So individually we will uh, evaluate the tools and in the district level, we have a screening committee and they will evaluate that uh, content based on the need of the students and teachers and also uh, some predefined criteria will be there. Based on this two points, they will screen the content and the state level expert committee will be there they will suggest, uh, make suggestions for e-content and also they will review the e-contents that came from the um, district level and also they will give final approval for the e-content. In this way, we can make a lot of assessment and also learning tools in our state board. Mm -hmm. That's our plan. Thanks for all. And also mainly thanks for the partic uh, participants and also experts and NCRT officials for making us uh, for giving us this opportunity. Thanks to all. Thank you so much, ma'am, for such a crisp, neat, and legible presentation. I think it covered all the necessary points, and I again wish you all the best for implementing your plan in your respective state. And uh, so thank you to all the states for creating such wonderful presentations, and I would just would like to... Uh, humbly request you all to mail your state action plans to Ms. Nidhi Adlakhas and my email ID, as you can see in the chat box, my colleague Ms. Nidhi Adlakha has already shared our email IDs. We will also be sharing this in the WhatsApp group for your reference. So all the states are requested to submit their state action plans to us. And now I would like to hand over the floor to Ms. Nidhi Adlakha to take forward the valedictory session from here on. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ms. Priyakshi. And uh, these email addresses are also already shared in the WhatsApp group. Now, I would like to inform all of you that whatever you have, uh, whatever knowledge you have gained during this workshop, using that knowledge, you are going to have one quiz. And uh, I would like to invite Dr. Monica to conduct this quiz. I would uh, request all the participants to please participate. Uh, don't leave the meeting. It is not yet over. After the quiz also, we have something to talk about. So please don't leave the meeting and uh, participate in the quiz. <clears throat> you can see all the information is given on the screen. Everyone is requested to join the quiz uh, by clicking on your browser and typing joinmyquiz.com and then enter this code 661000. We also conducted the similar quiz in the beginning of the session. So you are aware of the method. Uh, please uh, type in the browser joinmyquiz.com and then enter this code. Once you start joining, I'll be able to see the number here.
so join fast so that we can conclude the quiz also in uh, within five seven minutes Only seven members have joined till now. Please join fast. As I already requested, please don't leave the meeting. Stay in the meeting, participate in the quiz. I'm starting the quiz, but anybody who wants to join can jo still join in with this uh, credentials. Or I'll paste the same in the chat box. I've given the link in the chat box. You can simply click on the link and join the quiz also.
quiz. given around seven to eight minutes. So dear participants, I'm closing the quiz. If you still think you're left with some question and want to complete it,
closing the quiz since many of the participants have already completed. Now you will be able to see on the scoreboard who is the first and who is the second and third. So this is not just based on the scores, this is also based on your timings. So first is Nilotpal Kalita sir and uh, second is MG Math ma'am or oh, sir I don't know. Nagang Sham Ji. Teen log aapke samne hai. The whole data sheet is also available. You can see here your scores and the correct answer and wrong answers which you have attempted. So this way you can also conduct similar quizzes for your students or you can assign this as homework. You can see a button here assign homework. So this can be assigned and the time can be given under which they have to complete this particular quiz. With this, uh, thank you everyone and thank you uh, uh, Ms. Nidhi for giving me this time to share the screen. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Monica, to give uh, all the participants the opportunity to assess what they have uh, understood, what they have gained till now. Now, I would like to invite two participants, anyone can volunteer to give feedback of uh, this workshop. Who would like to volunteer? You can uh, raise your virtual hand or you can unmute yourself. <coughs> so good evening. Good evening, good evening, sir. So, myself, Shubhradas, from Diet Karbi Long, Assam. It is a very wonderful session in this five days training. And we are very happy that we have learned so much thing, so many applications, those who were discussed in those training, in those course, and very new, new things we have learned and I hope all of us enjoyed too very much, though it was day long training session, but we have given little, little short break also. So we are, we, get, we got chance to get refreshed again. And it is very interesting and I will practice all these things. And I, as a diet faculty, it is my duty to share this training uh, session or knowledge, whatever I've gain here. I'll provide this to our district and we are uh, looking both district actually, West Caribbean Long and Caribbean Long. So though our area is very remote and there are some harsh area also. So we'll visit there and we often visit there and we used to provide these things, but teachers are not able to uh, apply because they have lack of knowledge of using mobile phone, internet, et cetera, et cetera. But I have created some Google Classroom where I put these things and also I put it all the links, whatever you have given here in my classroom session so that teacher can access them. And we will monitor their progress. I'll start, uh, try to monitor their progress. Otherwise, only giving training is not sufficient for them, I think. Uh, I'll continuously support them through Google Classroom or what, whenever we visit their school. So in this way, we'll conduct and we have plan also already discussed before and individually I'll uh, do these things in my hand. And this much is uh, from my side. And thank you very much to all of you for giving such a wonderful training session. And see you again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. And it is uh, correctly mentioned that giving only training is, will not be sufficient if you will follow up how the teachers in your district are using that information, it will be great. Thank you so much once again. Um, now, any other participant who would like to express? Anyone? I can see that some participants want to express, but I think uh, you are hesitating. So don't hesitate. All of us are same. All of us are here to motivate each other. Maybe so one can volunteer uh, Nidhi and others can write their feedback in the chat also so that we all get the opportunity to participate in giving feedback. 
that's a great idea ma'am we take one to speak and others can write in chats okay madam ma you can do mentimeter also for feedback session okay yes sir we would have taken that your idea but right now because of time constraints we are taking the feedback in the form of messages and uh, in the way you have conveyed we would like if anyone also would convey and rest of the participants can write their feedback in the chat box there they may not feel hesitant maybe uh, <coughs> we have shared a feedback form also oh yes uh, yes so they can give Yes, a few minutes ago, I already informed that link for feedback form is already given in the chat box, so you can give your feedback in that form as well. So I think uh, we would move forward then. Thank you so much, sir. I can see that uh, one of the participants has written in the chat box. It was really a wonderful training session. Thanks to the entire team. Thank you so much, sir, for participating, actively participating, because uh, without active participation, uh, we also cannot work the way we have planned to. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, other participants also. They are also giving feedback. It is. Uh, it was very informative, nice experience. My dear co-participants are quite capable of handling the computer, but to be frank, I'm a little slow in that field. No problem, sir. You will, uh, as you practice more, you will be able to, ma'am. And uh, thank you for your time. It was a wonderful training. Thank you so much for giving your feedback. <coughs> thank you so much, Matthew, sir. Thank you so much, everyone. So as you are writing your feedback, I would like to side by side, I would like to inform you that relieving letters are already released uh, in your WhatsApp group. You can check that uh, relieving letter for all the states are uh, sent in the WhatsApp group. And now I would like to invite Ms. Priyakshi Gupta to give a formal vote of thanks. Over to Ms. Priyakshi. Thank you so much, Ms. Nidhi. Uh, good evening, everyone. We have finally come to the end of the five-day training session on orientation of SRGs on development of e-contents for Diksha. It gives me immense pleasure to address this closing session. So on behalf of CIT and CERT, I, Priyakshi Gupta, would like to express my heartfelt gratitude towards our Honorable Joint Director, Professor Amarendra Behra, for always guiding us in organizing this training session for all the states. Allow me to also convey my special thanks and appreciation to the backbone of this training session, Professor Indu Kumar, for her acumen, conduct, and planning in bringing us all together in one platform for le learning and engaging together in this workshop. I would like to thank Dr. Bharti Kaushik, head DICT, for her valuable support throughout this training session. I would also like to thank our resource persons for taking out time from their busy schedules and guiding us through various initiatives, softwares, tools, concepts, and equipping us with more knowledge and awareness with respect to enhancing the teaching learning process in our states, classrooms. And I would also like to thank our faculty members at CIET and CRT for helping us throughout in the execution of this training session. Not to forget the most important node of this training session, you all are participants. Thank you so much, dear participants, for attending this session with dedication and active engagement. I hope you had a great learning experience with us. You all raised pertinent questions throughout the sessions, which was indeed quite encouraging for all of us. Your concerted efforts to work together will definitely be instrumental in achieving your respective state action plans. And I wish you all the best for the same. I would like to thank our technical support members, which include our host on Zoom sessions, Mr. Alok Kumar, along with Ms. Anna Gupta and Ms. Jinti Chavri. I would also like to extend my gratitude towards my colleague, Ms. Nidhi Adlakha, 
for her support in coordinating the five days SRG training uh, beautifully. And last but not the least, I would like to thank Dr. Monica Nagpal for overall coordination and management of the SRG training. Thank you so much once again. Take care and good evening once again. Uh, thank you, Ms. Priyakshi, for uh, giving a uh, vote of thanks and for uh, helping all of us to work efficiently in this workshop. Thank you so much. And thank you, all the participants. Uh, we wish that we will get in touch again for, uh, for exchanging our experience so that we will improve together. Thank you so much.